Uh, the rock hammer is right at the contact of the Pleasanton Warnsburg Moberly, which is Pleasanton Sandstone, and the overlying glacial till. You can see in there um, pebbles of uh, glacial till, probably Nebraskan in age. This is the section of Pleasanton Sandstone, fluvial sandstones of late middle Pennsylvanian age. We're panning down into the uh, channel sandstones of the Warrensburg Moberly Formation are channel sandstones in St. Louis County, presumably Mo Warrensburg Moberly. Uh, one of the things you can see um, right here, let's see, there we go. The uh, dark areas uh, is where the dozer has been abraded by the very uh, abrasive nature of the sandstone, micaceous sandstone that wears the tip of your rock hammer off as well as wearing down the blades of bulldozers. The rock hammer again is right at the contact of glacial, Nebraskan glacial till, and glacial drift. You can see the boulders there, or the pebbles rather, they're not really that easy to see because this is a very fresh outcrop. I'm making this uh, recording on February the 8th, 1992, and um, the uh, excavation was just done yesterday. But you can see the uh, glacial till in place right above the Warrensburg, upper beds of the Warrensburg Moberly Sandstone. We're in the very top of the um, Paleozoic section in this part of North America. You have to go either uh, east into the Illinois Basin to get a higher section or uh, into uh, the Kansas City area to the west to get a higher uh, section of Paleozoic strata. Spalled masses, massive Warrensburg Moberly. of the Warrensburg Moberly Sandstone at the very base of this, zooming in right there, is the uh, underlying uh, shales, clay shales containing in some places fossil plants, but not here, unfortunately.
reddish hematite pebbles in the Warrensburg Moberly. Are the beds below it? 